Hi, everyone. Hello. Good afternoon. No, good afternoon. No, good evening. Hi. Hello. Good evening, Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I hope you're safe and sound as per usual. All right. So let's get started with the class. Let's see. What do we have for today's class? <clears throat> Today is Tuesday, May 09th, 2023. We are officially in class uh, 14. All right. So that's something great because I know that it's been pretty, pretty heavy or pretty tiring being here every day. But Congrats to you because you almost finished. All right, so let's get started. Yesterday, we were watching the different time zones. All right, and we have this vocabulary. You might remember as well that we were also practicing with the different cities and things like that. So I would like to see if some of you remember the cities that we saw yesterday. De seguro recuerdan que ayer estuvimos practicando las ciudades, right, around the world. So, I want to see if someone, quiero saber si alguien podría decirme at least three cities that we saw yesterday. So, let's check. Do, do I have a volunteer? Hello, hello. Well. Great. Okay. Let's see who are the ones participating with the race hand. Okay, we have Manuel Campos. Action, please. Y luego Manuel Hernández. Vancouver. Uh -huh, Vancouver. Los Angeles. Montreal. Mm -hmm. New York City. New York City. Perfect. Thank you, Manuel. Let's listen to Manuel Hernández, please. Okay, Sydney. <laughs> Seoul. So, uh, most, so Moscow. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, excellent. Thank you, both of you. All right, so there you go. You might remember. Now let's check the next one. Uh, let's start with this vocabulary now. Vamos a iniciar con este vocabulario, right? Que ayer solo una persona pudo pasar. And honestly, I don't remember who was that person. So today I'm going to have all of you to practice with this vocabulary. Let's get started with Kevin Alexander. Please tell me the vocabulary that appears on the screen. The first one. It's... <clears throat> I hear you. I actually can hear you, but I'm waiting for it. When do you think you're going to practice then? Uh, okay, let me listen to Miguel, please. You might start. Okay. It's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one steering. It's one forty. It's 20 to 2. It's 145. It's a quarter to 2. <laughs> That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Miguel. Very good. Let me listen to... Eh... <clears throat> bueno, yo creo que ahora todos andamos malos de la garganta, ¿verdad? I, um, I yes. was checking... Yeah, I was checking some, some messages. Most of the people is sick nowadays. So don't worry, Miguel. Thank you so much for your effort. Let me have Lisette Rodriguez, please. Action. Uh, it's one o'clock. Okay. It's one on five. Sí, it's five after one. It's one fixing. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. 30. It's one forty. It's twenty twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. That's correct. Thank you so much, Lisette. Looks like you've been practicing. Very good. Let me go with Man Manuel Hernandez, please. 
one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Okay, repeat after me. It's one thirty. It's one thirty. Yes, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Jensi Valle, please. Action. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Valle. Let's go with Manuel Campos. After Manuel Campos, uh, Mario Molina, and after Mario, Evelyn Flores. Action. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. If a quarter after one. It's one thirty. Sorry, it's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty two two. It's one forty five. If it, it's a quarter to two. Perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Campos. Let's go with Mario and after Mario Evelyn. Action. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's it's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Molina. That's correct. Let's go with Evelyn. And after Evelyn, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of review. Actually, it's one o'clock. It's one of five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Indeed, thank you so much. Now, everyone, let's pay attention to this, what I'm going to say. It is not based on what Evelyn did, all right? Lo que voy a decir no está basado en el trabajo que acaba de hacer Evelyn. Eso estuvo correcto y no hay nada que pueda cambiar, all right? Everything was perfect. But I have listened to some of you that said, he escuchado que algunos me dicen, it's 1.50 and it's not 50. All right, it's 15, 15. You practice already the numbers, so you must handle the pronunciation. All right, 15. Don't forget the in, please, because if not, you might confuse someone when talking. Si nos olvidamos del 15, del in al final, el stress que trae, podemos confundir a alguien, all right? En vez de decirle que son la 1 y 15, le podemos decir que son la 1 y 50 y la persona tiene que salir corriendo, all right? So that's not the point. The point is to be healthy, right? So let's go with the following. We have in the morning, a.m., noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m., so, take into consideration the following. Tomemos en consideración lo siguiente. Noon es del mediodía, all right? De las 12 a la 1, podríamos decir. Afternoon, si ya es de la 1 en adelante, hasta como a las 4, probably. Evening comienza desde las 4 hasta la noche. Entonces, cuando ustedes ya entran a la clase, ustedes no dicen good night, all right? Porque good night es cuando ya nos vamos a dormir y ya no vamos a ver más a la persona. Decimos, good evening, all right? Because it's the same way. At night, you know that it starts from maybe seven, all right? 
and so on, and midnight, which is 12 o'clock, okay? So I hope this one is pretty clear because uh, you can be using it as whenever you want to, all right? Espero que esto esté un poco más claro porque en realidad pueden utilizarlo, es algo que fácilmente se maneja y pueden utilizarlo siempre que ustedes sepan cómo y, y quieran hacerlo. Okay, so let's move on with the following. And just checking up on here. Let's see, vamos a pedirle a Daniel Rivera, all right, porque ya no nos pudo decir el otro vocabulary, que nos diga el vocabulary que yo acabo de mencionar. In the morning, da 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 da, da. action daddy. In the morning, a.m., <clears throat> noon, p.m., in the afternoon, p.m., in the evening, p.m., at night, p.m., midnight, a.m. All right, repeat, midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm, that's correct, thank you. <clears throat> now, welcome, Mr. Castro, how you doing? Hello, William, let's check if your microphone is working. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good night. Hi there. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. Can you please do me the favor of telling me this vocabulary in the morning and so on and so on and so on? You, William. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, in the morning, I am. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, I am. Very good, excellent, thank you. So with that, we complete the old time zones, all right? Let's move on with the following practice. Let's check. We're going to watch a video. Vamos a ver un video de la plataforma. Just let me look for it. Solo déjenme buscarlo, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you It's 20 to... Sorry, give me one chance. I'm going to share with you now the platform. And here we go. Let's try to pay attention. The two. The clock. We will say two at one to three. Our last example. The afternoon. The morning. Okay. Midnight. From this one. A.M. Let's uh practice this time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change this. Okay, now let's go then again with the PowerPoint and let's practice our pronunciation. So we have, let me take out my magic wand. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Estaba unida toda, okay? It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. O sea que hay dos formas de decirlo. It's 12 o'clock. That's the first form. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. Right? Si yo digo it's noon, automáticamente mi cerebro, mi cerebro tiene que asumir que ya es el mediodía. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's one form. 
It's 4 p.m. <clears throat> it's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Okay? Now, let's go with you. Let's start with Evelyn, please. Can you can you start with the first three? So, las primeras tres, Evelyn. From this one to this one. Yeah. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with the next one. Uh, Manuel Hernandez, the other three, please. The second line, action. It's seven o'clock in the, in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 p.m. It's midnight. All right, excellent. Thank you. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. That's correct. Let's go with Jen Sivaya. The first line, please. The first three from the first line. Action. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's a four p.m. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Daniel Rivera, please. The second line, the three, please, action. It's seven o'clock in the evening. In the evening. It's seven p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12, it's 12 o'clock at night. It's, it's 12 a.m. It's midnight. It's midnight. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with the following. Lisef, please. The first three. William Castro, the second line. Please, action. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock. It's the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. Perfect. Thank you, Miss Rodriguez. Action, Mr. Castro. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go with Mario Molina. First line, please. The tree that we have in first line. Then Manuel Campos, the other tree. Action, Mario. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. Thank you so much. Let's go with Mr. Campos. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It, it's midnight. Excellent. Thank you, all of you. All right. Great job with the pronunciation. I wasn't able to notice any mistake on your pronunciation, everyone. So, so far, we are doing so good with the time zones. Now, let's move on with the following. We have a rising intonation and lower intonation. I'm going to share with you the video from the platform so that you have some background before practice. Okay, let's go. Let's pay attention. 
Hi everyone. In this class, you learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competence, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, <clears throat> what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. Play to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, that was great. Now let's move on to the PowerPoint. Let me take out my magic wand. Okay. So remember, when you have yes or no questions, your intonation will be rising intonation, all right? When you have WH questions, it would be a falling intonation, all right? So let's practice. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? All right? So for this one to be much easier for you, para que esta pueda ser más fácil para ustedes, porque si les voy a ser bien honesta, right? Usualmente los salvadoreños hablamos como así. All right? No damos ni higher ni lower intonation. Entonces, como esta es una entonación hacia abajo, comencemos dándole auge, podríamos decir, all right, o empuje en el what's, where, when, all right? Y luego vamos bajando la intonation. Because it's a lower intonation. Para que sea en una entonación baja, significa que primero viene de arriba. All right? So let's go. Let's practice. I already practiced with you. You listen to the video. I'm going to give you. Voy a darles. All right? Eh, less than one minute. Menos de un minuto, quizás. All right? Eh, para que ustedes solitos, con sus micrófonos apagados, lo hagan. Then I'm going to ask you to tell me the pronunciation of H. Luego van a demostrarme la pronunciación que han adquirido, right? La intonation, perdón. Me van a mostrar la intonation de las questions, okay? Let's start practicing.
Okay, time's up. So let's go. Do I have any volunteer to show me how to do it? Okay, excellent, Mr. Campos. Action. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Very good, excellent, thank you. That was pretty good, thank you. Let's go with Danny, Daniel Rivera. Action. Is she getting up? <laughs> Sorry, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Right, doing. Repeat, doing. Doing. Yes, perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Donnie. That was a good effort. Another one? Alguien más? Veamos. Who's brave enough? ¿Quién es valiente para mostrarme su intonation? Perfect, Evelyn. Thank you. Action. <clears throat> okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Mm -hmm. Is he working? Are they studying? All right, ahora la folding. What's she doing? What are they doing? What's he playing? What's he watching? All right, very good. Usted hizo las suyas propias. Okay, perfect, Evelyn. Thank you. That works too. Excellent. Now, another one? Somebody else? Alguien más? You'll never know if you're doing it correctly if you don't practice with me. Okay, so I'll pick and choose. Let me grab Manuel Hernandez, please. Action. Okay. Is she getting out? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Perfect. Excellent. Vaya, Manuel. No apaga el micrófono. Dele. Escoja a alguien. Select someone. Uh, Wait. Wait. Le voy a decir quiénes están disponibles. Está Lizette. Yeah. Está William. Está Jensi Valle. Está Miguel. Y está Sorais. All right. That's it. Okay, perfect. Action. <laughs> okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Very good. Solo que es doing, Lizette. Do, doing. Sorry. Se me cayeron los audífonos. Don't worry. Very good. Lo hizo excelente, Lizette. Thank you. Gracias. All right, ahora ustedes coja a alguien, please. Tenemos, le voy a decir quiénes, porque yo sé quiénes pueden ahorita porque no están trabajando. Tenemos a Jensi, tenemos a Miguel, a Mario Molina y a William Castro. Mario. Ok, action Mario. Ok, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Very good, excellent, Mario. Select someone, please. Le voy a decir quiénes están disponibles. All right. Uh, we have Jensi, we have Miguel, and we have William Castro. Uh, William Castro. Okay, action, William. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What she doing? What are they doing? Perfect, excellent. Thank you. Now, William, select someone between Miguel and Jensi. Miguel. Okay, action, Miguel. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she, do what's she doing? What are they doing? All right, vamos con la segunda de nuevo, Miguel. What are they doing? What are they doing? Perfect, excellent. Let's go, Jensi. Action. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What are you doing? What are they doing? Right? Excellent. Thank you. Now, you might wonder yourself. De seguro ustedes se preguntan, teacher, pero why is this important? All right? Porque esto es importante. Si bien es cierto, no estamos buscando cambiar nuestro acento salvadoreño, which is pretty particular. 
el cual es bien particular, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, no estamos buscando hacer eso, pero sí buscamos que ustedes puedan entrenar su oído, ¿verdad? Right, a los diferentes tipos de entonaciones que hay, ¿ok? So, not all the Native Americans respect this. No todos los Natives respetan la, la entonación, porque no es que nuestro cerebro automáticamente siempre va a agarrar que sea la entonación. But in your case, as a second language, en su caso, como segundo idioma, sí pueden apegarse un solo a la entonación, ¿verdad? Right? To sound more professional, para sonar más profesional al momento de hablar. Ok, so that was great. Thank you so much, y'all, for your participation. And this is what we have. Pero les recomiendo que anoten esto para que no se les olvide, ¿verdad? Right? Que es exactamente lo que acabamos de hacer. Vamos a pedirle a Jensi. Jensi, can you please read the yellow chart? Me lee el cuadrito amarillo. Yes, and I'm pretty sure. For yes or not questions, it will be raising intonation. Exactly. That's correct. Thank you, right? So remember, yes or no, rising intonation. Eh, Daniel Rivera, please, the blue chart for WH. For WH question, there's a failing intonation. Right, repeat, falling. Falling. Yes, that's correct. There's a falling intonation, all right? Que va descendiendo. All right, so you may take notes out of this. Les recomiendo que tomen nota de esto. I'm going to leave it in here. Let me know whenever you finished. Okay, so we might move on, shall we? Let me move on, okay? So, wait. Ya vimos la estructura. Uy, se dejó de presentar. All right. Uh, two sentences using present progressive. Esto lo hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? Ayer practicaron con las oraciones en present progressive. Am I wrong? Estoy equivocada. Or is it true? It's true. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Manuel. So let's move on to the platform and let's watch the following video. Because we have a conversation. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. 
what's Victoria doing? We have a WH word. What? Then we have the verb to be. Is. After that, we have the subject. Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now let's move on to the platform once again. And here we go with the conversation. Today we're going to work a bit differently, all right? Hoy vamos a trabajar un poquito diferente as other times. Voy a hacer la conversation yo y les voy a dar, as, as you saw before, como vieron antes, les di un minuto para que practicaran ustedes solos, all right? Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. No tengan pena ni tengan miedo de practicar ustedes solos. All right, so listen carefully. Ya le escuchamos del video. Voy yo ahora, voy a repetir despacio y a pronunciar más fuerte las palabras que puedan ser difíciles y se quedan ustedes practicando por un one minute, all right? Then I'll be right back and you will share with me the conversation. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Stu? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Palabras que pueden ser difícil. Getting. Getting. No decimos getting. Getting, no. Es getting. Getting. All right? Doing. Doing. No me digan doing. Es doing. Doing. Cooking. Cooking. Uh, really. No es really. Es really. Really hungry. Really hungry. Okay, so I'm going to let you go for one minute. All right. No se van a ir, sino que se van a quedar aquí practicando alone con el micrófono apagado and everything. I'll be right back in one minute. Okay.
Okay, so here we are. Let's see. Do I have any volunteers to practice? Perfect, Mr. Campos. I need another one. Me. Perfect, William. All right. So, Mr. Campos, you are Steve. William, you are mom. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's 12 o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Um, pizza. Now, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. <laughs> that was cool. Thank you so much. Y como lo dijo Manuel, como pizza. All right? Like, I'm not going to give you. Very good. Great job, both of you. Now, let's go with Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, you are a Steve. Usted va a ser a Steve. I need a mom over here. Necesito otra persona. Perfect, Miguel. You are the mother. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. No, I getting hungry. Let's see. Very good. Excellent. Both of you. That was great. Let me go with another pair. Otra pareja, please. Okay, Lisette, perfect. Usted va a ser mom. Necesito un Steve. Sí. Hello. Hello. Sí. Un Steve. None of the men in this class wants to be a Steve. Okay, <laughs> let me pick and choose. Okay, perfect, Evelyn. You are Steven. Action. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? Okay. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let me le let me tell you something, Eric. Le voy a decir algo, right? La palabra hungry. No decimos hungry. O tampoco no decimos hungry. Decimos hungry. Ha, 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 ha. Hungry, all right? That's the correct pronunciation, which is different from Spanish. La cual es diferente en español. En español no le damos entonación a la H. Whereas in English, mientras que en inglés, the H has a sound, all right? That's why we say hungry, all right? So you gotta keep that in mind. Let's go with Gen C Valle. Gen C, you are a Steve. Um, let me check who's the next one. Vamos a ver quién más falta. Okay, uh, Daniel Rivera, you are mom. Action. Hi, mom. Ah, se le desconectó el audio, I think so. Hello, hello. Hi. ¿Me escucha? Yeah, I think it has problems. So, tiene quizás connection issues. Um, uh, what are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Uh, where are you cooking now? It's Le falta Dani. Ah, uh, sorry. It's so a club in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. Uh, what are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Now, my dear students, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a pasar la lista de asistencia. So whenever you listen to your name, say present. Wait for it. Just... 
So today is Tuesday 09. Okay, Beatriz Adriana, she's absent. Carlos Salvador is present. I hope so. Evelyn Mercedes. Present. Very good. Freddy Sebastián. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz. José David Rosales. Mario Molina. Oh my gosh, who's texting that much? Present. Oh my. Sorry. So, porque me escriben justo en la clase. Okay, uh, Mario Molina, he's present. Um, let me check. Lisette Osorio. Absent. Alexander Batres. Present. Antonio Chicas. Daniel Rivera. Present. Present. Ernesto García. Luis Alfonso, he's not anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Uh, Luis Alfonso, he's not right. Let's go with Manuel Antonio Hernandez. Present. Uh, Manuel Campos. Present. Lizeth Rodriguez. Present. Miguel Galán. Present. Sandra Beatriz. She's absent. And, and Jensi. Me lo borraron de la lista. Why? I don't know. But you don't appear anymore. Ah. I think it's a mistake. Sure. Pero si tiene la asistencia. The attendance list, all right? So don't worry, let me ask. Yo pregunto. Mientras tanto, William Alexander. Present. Perfect, all right? So don't worry, Jensi. I'm going to check what's going on. Okay, perfect, everyone. Thank you so much. Now let's move on with the following. Let's continue with the PowerPoint. So we have present continuous WH questions. We have Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcus doing? <clears throat> it's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. Okay, let's go with, let me have, Freddy, please tell me the Los Angeles, Mexico City, and New York City. Your microphone, Freddy. Okay, now listen, everyone. I'm gonna be pretty honest with you. Voy a ser bien honesta con ustedes. Según tengo entendido, eh, a ustedes se les valoran tres cosas. La primera, que se conecten a clases. La segunda, que trabajen en la platform. La tercera, que participen en clase. Okay. If you are working and you just say present, that for me is not working, all right? It's not worth it. Entonces, eh, voy a consultar yo si la asistencia vale esos días, aunque no hayan participado ni una vez en las 16 clases, all right? Because I don't think it's fair for the rest of the people. 
Okay, so because they are being present, they've been participating. So it's not a win-win for each of you. So just take into consideration that because the rest of the people is participating like 100%, but some of you are left in behind because you are not participating at all. Okay, so let's go with the next one. Let me have William Castro, please. Los Angeles, Mexico City, and New York City. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Perfect, thank you. Good intonation, good voice, good pronunciation. Let me listen to Gen Z, please. Los Angeles, Mexico City, and New York City. Action. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's at 6 a.m. So he is getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. Exactly. Repeat. Having. Having. Yes. Excellent. More relaxed. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Evelyn Flores, please. Los Angeles, Mexico City, and New York City. Los Angeles, 40 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City. 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m. So he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Excellent, thank you. Just the first one, it was 4, all right? 4 a.m. Now let's move on to the next one. It's the seven poquito borrosa, but don't worry. I think you can see it. We have Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 or noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they are having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Okay, let me go with, uh, let me check. Vamos con Miguel Ángel, please. Brasilia, London, and Moscow. Action. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Annie doing? It's noon. So they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Manuel Hernandez, please. Brasilia, London, and Moscow. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James, James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, Moscow, Mos It could be Moscow or Moscow. Moscow, Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. All right, perfect, thank you. Now, listen up, my dear students. As a matter of remembering Moscow. any information. <laughs> All right, para que puedan recordar, por favor, esta semana tenemos que trabajar en la sección 5 y finalizarla. Mi recomendación es que traten de finalizar la mañana que vamos a tener libro, right? A sueto. Para que el jueves y el viernes, el jueves trabajamos el final exam y el viernes hacemos un review de todo el sitio, de todo el sitio, de todo el periodo, right? No, de todo el curso. Okay? So that's pretty much it, my dear students. It was a pleasure to see you and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye. Good night. Take care. Bye, teacher. Si tuvieras que recurrir nuevamente a la violencia...